Look at this bowl of fruit salad. What do you see? When we mix different fruits together like this, we get a fruit salad. Now I don't know about you, but I like adding sugar in my fruit salad. Fruit salad is a mixture and sugar is a compound. But what do these words mean? Let's compare them. The fruits in a fruit salad can come in any amount or ratio. We can add any fruit according to our taste. Sugar is a compound. It is made up of carbon, oxygen, and hydrogen atoms combined in a fixed ratio. If we want to separate the fruits in a fruit salad, we can easily do so. Let's take out the strawberry, the cherry, and the grape. We can also taste the different fruits in a fruit salad. This means that the properties of the components do not change in a mixture. Therefore, the fruits in this fruit salad will remain the same and not change into something new. On the other hand, we cannot separate the carbon, hydrogen, or oxygen atoms present in sugar as easily. Hydrogen and oxygen are gases, and carbon is found in diamonds, but none of these taste like sugar. When these elements are combined in a fixed ratio, sugar is formed. So the components of a compound can be separated by chemical processes only. But components in a mixture can be separated by physical methods such as boiling, cooling, liquefying, or in the case of this fruit salad, simply with a spoon. The properties of a compound are different from the properties of the elements in it. whereas Properties of elements or compounds in a mixture remain the same. Usually, when a compound is formed, energy is absorbed or released. For example, during the burning of fuel, a new compound, carbon dioxide, is formed. But when we're mixing fruits to make a fruit salad, we don't feel any heat nor is there any change in temperature as energy is not being absorbed or released. A mixture is a combination of two or more elements or compounds that are mixed in any proportion, such that no chemical change takes place. Mixtures are of two types, namely homogeneous mixtures and heterogeneous mixtures. A homogeneous mixture has the same appearance and composition throughout. For example, when you dissolve salt in water, the solution has the same appearance and taste throughout. A heterogeneous mixture does not have a consistent appearance and composition. For example, if you mix some oil in water and stir it well, some parts of this mixture may have oil in it and some may not. Can you suggest any other example of homogeneous and heterogeneous mixtures? Air around us is a mixture of different gases like oxygen, nitrogen, carbon dioxide, water vapors, etc. Now, let's identify some compounds and mixtures that we come across in our daily lives. Some compounds that we come across daily are plastic, salt, cloth and rubber. Plastic, rubber and cloth are made up of carbon, hydrogen and other elements. Salt is made up of sodium and chlorine. Milk, juice and tea are examples of mixtures. Milk is a mixture of water, proteins and fats, whereas juice and tea are mixtures of water, sugar, and fruit or tea essence. Tap water is a mixture of pure water and some minerals. Let's summarize. Compounds are formed by two or more elements combined chemically in a fixed ratio. Mixtures are formed when two 
or more elements or compounds combined physically in any ratio.